please welcome from Thailand, Tanonsak Samsung Punsok. No Thai player has ever won any title here. It's always nice when we have a final where we know that history will be created. It's like impossible uh, because like from first round I just pay one by one, round by round I never think like I get final or champion. He's done it! <laughs> <laughs> not only reached his first ever Super Series tournament final, he leaves as champion. After last point, I get champion like, I feel really happy, yeah. and then anything is like finished already, then I can get, I can do it, yeah. That was Tanong Sak Sinsum Bunsok's finest hour. He etched his name in the history books as the first Thai men's singles player to triumph at a World Super Series premiere event. It had been a long time coming for the 26-year-old, who had struggled to live up to his billing as Thailand's next big thing in men's singles after his emergence on the international circuit in 2008. I'm also keep hard training and then waiting for this, like, when I go to uh, international tournament like Super Series last time when I 18 and then it's about 8 or 9 years and then I just keep training hard and then waiting for, for uh, the time I can do it then finally I can get champion. His latest success vindicated a big decision he made in 2012. Not satisfied with his development in the national team at the time, Tanong Sak left the setup to try and build his career on his own. While being an independent player had its benefits, managing his own finances threw up some major challenges. My program for training and then in national team, something maybe a bit different, somebody like pressure or something. And then when I independent, it's just, uh, it's just my anything. My, just can do or cannot do, it's okay. I have coach, yeah, but he's uh, in Bangkok. If like, I want he go to like uh, tournament, like I also pay. I pay anything by myself also. Then sometimes it's uh, like, cannot lah. Then I just go alone. Apart from a gold medal at the 2013 Southeast Asian Games, the left-hander had no major rewards for his toil. But things began to change last year. The Thai ace began 2016 brightly. He was a semi-finalist at three Grand Prix gold tournaments before defeating Indonesian veteran Sonny Dwi Kuntoro for the SCG Thailand Open crown. It was a long-awaited victory that resonated personally for the shuttler. It's really important because of, like, it's my, my country and then I, I can get champion in Thailand Open. From young, I, like, I want to get this one long time. Tanong Sak's Denmark Open triumph was his career's biggest moment, and on the occasion, he paid tribute to Thai King Bumipon Adunyade, the staunch supporter of badminton who had passed away the previous week. When I get champion, then I get more confident. I'm a good performer, then I can do it well. In Thailand, uh, the king is like, yeah, very respect, respected, and then everybody respect and then can do anything for him. Like that. The time is like the last thing uh, what I can do for my king. So, yeah. The memorable victory at the Odense Sports Park also helped to heal some wounds. Tanong Sak had failed to make the cut at August's Rio Olympics. And like any athlete, missing out on a chance to compete on a sport's most celebrated stage was a painful blow. But the Thai player knew he needed to get over the disappointment quickly if he was to take another shot at the next edition in Japan come 2020. From first time, maybe a little bit, and then I just uh, changed my mind and then it's coming back because like the way is so long. Every year, like have tournament, and then still have 2020 in Tokyo. Yeah, then I just keep focus and then keep training hard and I want to uh, be there also. Yeah.
I want to uh, get in the to the top five. If that, uh, then I feel, I think I, I will try my best. Yeah. Now, with back-to-back -back major international titles under his belt, Tanong Sak can look ahead with optimism. At the start of 2017, he was invited back into the national team setup, with newly appointed head coach Rexy Mainaki providing fresh impetus. Tanong Sak is confident his return to the team will help steer his career in the right direction this time around. The president also, he called me like, she need I do like for my country. La. Yeah, then, okay. Then I said, okay, because uh, I come back to join the national team also, I do for Thailand also. Yeah. When last time, when like, I'm independent player, just uh, do anything by myself, and then sometimes like headache and then many problems. Then just now I, I come back to join with the national team. I don't I don't need to worry about that. Then I just keep focus in training and tournament. Yeah. With Tanong Sak Seison Bunsuk bolstering his ranks in men's singles, Thai Badminton is well equipped to challenge on all fronts. <laughs>